Hey everybody, this is uh, Big Sean C. And uh, if you're anything like me and you've had ARs for a while, you've probably accumulated uh, some of the older style GI type mags. Uh, whether they uh, came with one like uh, this uh, Colt, or if uh, you got any of the other ones like the OK products, which apparently OK Industries is supposedly uh, manufactures the uh, mags for Colt and all the other GI industry mags. Uh, from what I hear, don't know that for sure. Uh, but anyway, um, today I'm going to look at changing out the uh, followers. There's a couple different styles. The green follower, which is supposed to be the updated one that's supposed to be anti-tilt. Yeah, it still tilts pretty good. And then you've got ones like, uh, well, you can see right there, it's uh, sticking already. So we're definitely going to want to fix that. Um, to do that, get you something like these uh, Magpul enhanced uh, self-leveling lower uh, followers. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, followers. And what we're going to want to do is uh, disassemble the mags, clean them out, and install these uh, new followers. Um, the springs should be in good shape. I'll take a look at them once I get everything uh, pulled apart and uh, we'll take a look at them there alright so uh, to basically to disassemble your uh, bags just get something like a flathead screwdriver and get it under this tab right here and get it started and then all you got to do is push it out with your thumb and make sure we cover that spring so it doesn't launch hmm. And try to get that old follower out of there. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's been shot a few times, so we're definitely going to clean it. Get that out of there so the uh, new follower is going to move in there smoothly. So, um, you can take anything like WD-40 or anything like that and just spray a little bit down in there, run a rag through it, get it cleaned out, and make sure it's uh, pretty clean so you don't get any more buildup. But you just give a little zap there. Kind of work its way around in there. Try some of these blue shop towels. See how that works. WD-40 does smell good. At least I think so. You want to get in there and get it out as best you can. And you may want to even get something a little bit thicker.
maybe even use a screwdriver or something there to kind of work it around. Yeah, that was pretty dirty. All right. Now we'll just uh, take the old faller off. And install the new one. And we're ready to put it back in. So this is five, five, six. You're gonna to want to match it up towards the front of the mag. So basically away from the feed lips. And we want to make sure the side of the hole is facing towards the rear of the mag. Yeah, that's working great. Really, really smooth. And not hanging up whatsoever. Real good positive feel to it, so should feed just fine. And definitely brought some life into uh, some mags that I'd really uh, put on the shelf and kind of written off as I'd gotten pee bags and other mags and said, well, you know, these old mags uh, have hung up on me a few times, so toss them in the corner. But uh, now they've got some uh, life back in them and should function just fine. I'll take them uh, down the range a future date and see how they run. All right, got all those uh, followers changed out, and this is the one that was really sticking bad from earlier that had the black follower. Definitely not a problem now. So, you know, for six bucks, you've reclaimed three mags that you might have not been using. Um, one thing I will say is make sure that the uh, body is, you know, straight on these and not crushed. So you want to get a good look at that before you change that out because you may still, if you have any bends in it or you know anything damaged to the feed lips if they've been crushed in at all uh, you'll still have uh, problems even with the new followers so keep you know keep on the lookout for that especially if you're picking up GI mags things you want to look at is just make sure it's got a good straight body um, it's good and flat both sides you know if you get a flat surface you can put it on and kind of test it that way that's one way to definitely do it make sure those feed lips uh, are looking good and straight like these here and uh, that's about it, guys. Um, if you notice in the upper corner, there is a pistol brace. That's, I think I've decided on uh, that next build. About I'm thinking I'm going to go with a 300 blackout pistol is what I'm going to do with that one. So um, that should be interesting. We'll get going on that here shortly. And, guys, um, definitely recommend these guys here, uh, Armed Citizens United. Uh, was started up by a few of our YouTube uh, fellow YouTubers like Such and Tim from the Military Arms Channel. Uh, these guys are very active in us uh, keeping our Second Amendment right, and so I do suggest checking them out. And um, you know, even if you're a, a Gun Owners of America or NRA member, which I'm both, um, definitely add these guys to your list because you know the more uh, the more things you belong to, the more places you can have your voice heard, the better. And we all need to be doing, you know, something like this, even maybe even start up your own at some point. Who knows? Um, but, you know, the more people that are out there letting their voices be heard, the better things will be for all of us. 
And uh, again, guys, this is a Big Sean C. Uh, be sure that if you're not already a subscriber, please do subscribe. Uh, and absolutely share this video if it's been informative to you or if you know it can help somebody. That's how I'm able to keep these, uh, this channel going and get to, uh, getting new things to uh, test out and do reviews on. And if you liked it, definitely do like it. I appreciate that. And if, you have, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and check out the uh, Big Sean C. Uh, Facebook page. I'll uh, put a link in the description below. And as always, guys, uh, have a great day or great evening. We're about to be there. And uh, see you next time.